Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we are filming the continuation of all the animals painting. Who are we bringing? Lemurs, gibbons, and a parrot. Me. And a parrot. I'm a parrot. <laughs> Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that bell notification. We appreciate your views so much, you guys. By watching these videos, you are directly helping us raise money for all of our animals and their brothers and sisters in their natural habitats. And if you enjoy this video, leave us a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. What's your favorite part? And keep tuning back in every week because we post new videos. Yay! So this is my friend Tapas. He is a white-handed gibbon, also known as a lar gibbon. And they get that name because they grow white hair on their hands and their feet. And they also have this very noticeable white ring around their faces. This is a boy. He's not full grown yet. He's just about to turn five years old. He won't be full grown until he's about seven. And he's already got some amazing snappers. Look at those teeth. Most people don't realize this, but these kind of monkeys, or lesser apes as we call them because they don't have tails, so they're part of the ape family, get gigantic fangs, but mainly they use them for fighting, not much else. All right, we're gonna do some paints, so we need our helpers to come on in and pick our colors and canvases. All Hello, right. Sarah. Hi, honey. Let's start with the little one first. I'm you gonna put some job. colors on there, and let's see if you can paint it up for us. Chimp style first. Like <laughs> Yum, thanks. Don't forget, guys. Washable paint, safe for babies and kids, so they can eat it. I don't know why they would, but it's what they do. Well, if they're like monkeys. Tell us, tell us, tell us. Get it. Yeah, get it. Jump, 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 jump. Wow! Yay! <laughs> Look at your painting. That's good a good job. job. I think we should try putting paint down and see if he'll just jump all over it. That'd be all funny. Right. Now, as I was saying, Tapas is just a baby. He won't actually be full grown until he's about seven, and by then. He'll be 35 pounds, he'll stand three feet tall and have a six foot wide arm span. Now the nice thing about their arm span is because they live in the canopies of the trees and so they actually go swinging through the jungle in that hand over hand locomotion that they're famous for, which is called brachiating, and they can actually go 35 miles per hour and 35 feet at a time. Isn't that crazy? All right, we're gonna see if Sarah's trick will work. Look, your treats are over there. Go get them. Get your treats. Good boy, good boy. Oh, we got some feets. We got some paints. How are you doing? Come here, Tapas. <laughs> it says I like your painted fingers. Epic fail. That's okay, it doesn't always work. That's the coolest part about working with animals is that you don't ever know what it is that they want to try out. They always want to do something new and different, which is great for them. So we're going to try to put the paint down on the canvas and see if maybe he can jump on that and maybe we'll get some footprints. We'll see. Just do a couple of swirls of this. That's a lot of yellow. Uh, that, that's quite a splash. What All do you right. think, buddy? Ah, wee! Ah. Ha! Good boy, come here. Top us. Top us. Ah. Yes. Good boy! Oh. Look at your painting! Yeah, jump your little feet on there. Yeah, get your feet on there. Good ah. job, yeah! Yeah! Top us! Woo! <laughs> and kick your mommy! Kick on me! Good boy. It's interesting. It is very abstract. Wow. So we're gonna try to paint his little foot and see if we can stamp it so that it's autographed. You're not singing your song, Sarah. Well, he doesn't really have toe beans. He's got oh, like man. these really long fingers. Look how long those are, because they are brachiators. Do you know what brachiation means? Brachiation means that they swing from tree limb to tree limb using oh, a hand over hand, hand, hand over hand locomotion. I think he did a good job. What do you guys think? I think it's perfect. <laughs> And these guys are amazing singers. They actually make sounds at the at dusk and at dawn, and they sing to each other in pairs because they're monogamous. So they breed for life, and they go whoop whoop in the mornings and at night. Ow. What do you think, buddy? All right, we're back with Suva. Now Suva here is actually only two years old, and the last one you saw was five years old, so that shows you the size difference between the two. And also, Suva is blonde, because gibbons actually come in three colors. Cinnamon, blonde, and black. I don't have a cinnamon gibbon, but I would really like one. Hint, hint. Okay, what do we got, Sarah, what do we got? All right, I got a fresh, fresh, fresh canvas. <laughs> so we know that the last thing didn't work, so straight to the canvas, I think. Okay. <laughs> ah, so oh, there goes, oh, there goes another phoenix feather. <laughs> I like my technique. It, it's okay, efficient. Suva. You just get it. Okay, Suva. Yeah, Suva, get it. Where am I going? Ha ha ha, it's a game. 
It's a game. <laughs> Dance, Dance. 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 Another yeah. funny thing about gibbons is they are extremely <laughs> ticklish. Oh my gosh. They will go into full blown laugh land if you start tickling them. It's hard to get them out of it just like a chimpanzee, but they love to be tickled and they actually laugh. Do you want to be tickled? <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> You're funny. What you yeah, get? Got a peach. Got a peach? Yum. I think it's funny that they're putting their little butts on there. Yep. Get little butt prints. <laughs> Look at how thick his hair is. Now these guys do have an amazing coat. They actually grow more hair per square inch than any other mammal besides seals and otters. And it's because it acts as a fur coat and as a rain jacket. So they can sit outside and they'll be warm because these guys live outside, it does get slightly colder, so they'll be warm with their fur jacket. But also, where they come from rains constantly, so they also have a rain jacket, and they won't get cold. Where gibbons come from, it's very dangerous to go down to the, get the water. So the dew forms on their coat, and that's how they stay hydrated, so it actually works in fabulous ways. Paint your little fingertips, not your little toe beans, cause you got long toes and not beans. Don't forget the toes this time. Oh wow, that was so Look good. Look at that! that one. Yeah, yeah! And oh, you forgot the thumb. Stretch it. Got it, and up. up. Yeah! Oh, that's a play! Yeah, 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 yeah. Gibbons are funny, they do get excited, so they make those excited noises, and like we said, they also laugh, and they sing that incredible song to each other. Now we said earlier that gibbons come in three different colors, cinnamon, black, and blonde. The color does not denote what sex they are. Either sex can be either color. It's very cool. Now for my personal favorite part of the painting time. Alicia, come put your hat on. Would you like to try to use the paintbrush? Here, hold it right here. All right, you gotta use your little tiny itty bitty baby thumb. Wait, let's go. Use your foot. I won't wash it, but I can. Right here, hold it. Just paint like this. That looks great. <laughs> now we gotta seal the deal, as always. I already know what's coming. <laughs> paint up his fingertips here. Make sure the paint is nice and even so that we can get a perfect little handprint on the hat. Suba. Oh, Suba. Suba, the Suba, hat. that's not the hat. Suba. Hat, hat, Suba, hat. <laughs> Here, I'll help you, I'll help you. That's oh, beautiful. It's pretty good, buddy. Yeah. You did such a good job. <laughs> All right, buddy, I think you need a bath. All right, guys, as you know, we've built this compilation of all the paintings from the animals we've done thus far. So, of course, we have to add Suva's foot to the master canvas. We've got baby tiger cubs. We did a video of that. Go back and watch it. And then this is from the elephant bubbles, her foot and her trunk. So, we're going to add Suva's print to this master canvas. Ready, Suva? And Sarah? Ready. Is everybody ready? <laughs> Here we go. And wait, the thumb, the fix thumb. Fix it, fix it. The thumb. We hope that you enjoyed everything we've done thus far. <laughs> Subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment down below. Let us know what you really liked about this and so far what your favorite paintings were. Stay tuned. We do have more coming. And who do you want us to paint with in the next video? And as always, we'll, we'll see, see you in the next, next one. Bye-bye.